Coming off of his 27 point performance last night against Denver Nuggets, Gary Trent Jr. is finally getting the media attention he deserves. So today, I want to talk about his recent play and how he could potentially become Portland's fourth star. And yes, for everybody wondering, Yusuf Nurkic is a star, check the stats. But before I get into the video, I want to ask everybody who enjoys our content to hit the subscribe button to help us reach our goal of 500 subs by the middle of September. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like to help our video do better in YouTube's algorithm. But now that's out of the way, let's get into the video. Let's start by quickly going over his regular season stats before the hiatus. In the 53 games Trent played, he averaged just over 8 points per game, a rebound, and an assist. He did this on shooting splits of 43% from the field, 41% from 3, and 81% from the free throw line. He really started to step it up at the end of January after he scored a career high 30 points in a game against Oklahoma City Thunder. Since that game, he has averaged 11 points per game on good shooting splits. Now let me talk about how incredible he has been in the bubble so far. In the four games he's played in, he's averaging just north of 20 points per game while shooting 60% from the field and a ridiculous 62% from three on 35 attempts. He also has the most three-pointers made inside of the bubble with 22. The one game I want to point out though obviously is his 27 point game against the Nuggets last night. In that game he shot 66% from the field, 70% from three, and hit seven threes which ties his career high he set just the other day against Boston. He also hit multiple threes down the stretch to close out the game. His scoring isn't the only good part of his game as he plays outstanding perimeter defense and a very good hustle ball. In the bubble so far he has held a solid defensive rating of 106.3 and has a net rating of 22. He has also made some huge plays defensively. He had a huge stop on John Morant where he shut him down at half court and forced an ill-advised 3 from the logo at the end of the shot clock. He then had a huge block on John Morant at the end of the game and he really loved him here afterwards. Check it out. Races it down the court, defended by Gary Trent Jr. Mello faints at it. Gary Trent Jr. sends that to the... The confidence he showed after that play is a regular thing for him and in my opinion a valuable asset to his game. He has gotten the Blazers back in games this season by making plays and then trash talking or getting in people's faces to get the crowd going and shifting momentum. And the hustle that I talked about earlier comes into play in a lot of these games. For example, you can see in this clip against the Suns, he forces a steal and then turns it into a bucket shifting momentum Portland's way. Another instance was just the other day against the Houston Rockets when he hit three and instantly turned around to talk trash to Russell Westbrook. That's really all I have to talk about in this one though. I know it was a short video, I just wanted to get this out and talk about one of my favorite players in the NBA and I thought it was a great time to do it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to keep up with our latest content. Also down below, let me know your thoughts on Trent's play recently. But with all that out of the way, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.